Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Eclipse IDE on your Mac operating system. So first of all, before installing Eclipse, you need to make sure that you have Java JDK installed on your Mac operating system because Eclipse is a Java based IDE. Now, if you don't know how to uh, install uh, Java, I've already created a video on that. So just watch that video. And once you have Java JDK, you are good to go. So once you have Java JDK installed, let's start with the installation of Eclipse IDE. So for that, you need to uh, open your favorite browser and search for download Eclipse. And the first link which will appear here will be from eclipse.org forward slash downloads. We are going to click on this link. And straight away, you will uh, reach to the download page of Eclipse IDE. So here you will see different variants of Eclipse, but uh, the variant we want is this one. So here what we are going to do is we are going to uh, click on the download packages under this Eclipse logo. So I'm going to click on download packages here where you will see more information about the installation of Eclipse IDE. Now here you will see at the top the first option which is for Eclipse installer. This Eclipse installer is going to allow you to install different variants of Eclipse IDE. So if uh, you are interested in uh, installing different variants of Eclipse IDE, for example, Eclipse is available for Java developers. Eclipse IDE is also available for enterprise Java and web developers. Eclipse IDE for C and C++ developers. So if you uh, plan to install more than one variant of Eclipse IDE, I will recommend you to install the Eclipse installer, which will make it easier to install other variants of Eclipse in future also. So here in front of Eclipse installer, you will see the Mac OS section and you will see two download links in front of uh, Mac OS. Now, if you are using Intel based processor, then you can use the first link, which is x8664. If you have the newer version of uh, Mac OS and you are using M1 or M2 chip, then you can use ARC64. So in my case, I'm using the M2 based processor. So let me click on M1, M2 variant, which is ARC64. And then you will uh, be redirected to uh, this page. Here, you just need to click on download once again. And once you click on download, you will see that this Eclipse uh, installer JRE Mac ARC64 is downloaded okay, so let me click on this file which is going to open this kind of installer so let me minimize my browser and let's start with the installation part so here you can see this is the eclipse installer so just click on the eclipse installer here now as i mentioned eclipse is available for a different type of development environments so what we are going to do is, first of all, we are going to install the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Later, you can install the other variants of Eclipse IDE. But for now, I'm going to use this version, which is Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So let me click on this option. Now, as you can see, the installation has been started for the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Here it says Java 17 plus VM. So in this drop down menu, once you have installed Java JDK on your Mac operating system, you will see that version in this list. So as I can see, JDK 21 uh, is the version which I have installed. So, so it's selected by default. If you don't have any version of Java previously, then you can choose the other versions of JRE here which is going to download those versions from the internet and install it on your MacBook. So because I have already installed Java, I will choose the first version, which is already uh, there in my Mac operating system. Also, you can see the installation path for Eclipse. 
So if you don't have the good reason to change this path, just leave it as default and then click on install. And once you click on install, you will see this uh, license terms and conditions page. So you can just read the license terms and conditions. And if you agree, just click on accept now, which is going to start the installation of Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So at this point, we are going to uh, wait for some time until this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. And after a few seconds, I can see that Eclipse is installed and I also see the launch button for Eclipse. So Eclipse is now installed on my Mac operating system. So at this point, I'm going to click on launch. Now before moving into this uh, process of starting Eclipse, first of all, we are going to move this Eclipse installer to our applications. So from the next time when we want to install any other Eclipse uh, variant, for example, Eclipse for C++, we will have this Eclipse installer. So just select this uh, Eclipse installer and you will also see the applications uh, folder. So just press command key on your keyboard and then move this icon into the applications folder. And once this is moved into the applications folder, when you go to the launch pad, you will be able to see this Eclipse installer there, right? So from the next time when you want to uh, install any other variants, just click on the uh, Eclipse installer and you will be able to uh, see the other variants of Eclipse, which you can download easily using this Eclipse installer. Now, before moving forward into this process of launching the Eclipse IDE, what I will recommend you to do is we need to know the path of this Eclipse IDE because when you install Eclipse IDE for Java developers, you will not see the Eclipse IDE icon in the applications folder, right? So what we can do here is we can right click on this Eclipse IDE icon and then click on options and then click on show in finder, which is going to show this Eclipse icon in the finder. What you need to do is you need to move this Eclipse icon into the applications folder. Once again, select this Eclipse uh, icon, press command key, and then move this uh, Eclipse icon into the applications folder. You can see I'm hovering over the applications folder and then I just drop it on top of the applications folder, which is going to move the Eclipse icon in the applications folder. And once you are done with that, Eclipse uh, app is moved to the applications folder. So when you open the launch pad now, you will be able to see the Eclipse IDE icon here also. Okay. So once that's done, we are ready to launch the Eclipse IDE. Let me just cancel uh, this uh, from here and we are going to start the Eclipse IDE from the launch pad. So I'm going to go to the launch pad and then click on Eclipse IDE icon. And for the first time, when Eclipse IDE start, it creates the workspace folder where all your uh, Eclipse related project will be saved. So this is the default location. If you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on launch. Now the Eclipse IDE has been launched here. So first of all, what we are going to do here is we are going to just close this uh, welcome window from here. And once we close this welcome window, it's going to open this kind of uh, Eclipse IDE interface. Now, in order to create a new Java project, you can see we have the option to create a new Java project from here. Or you can also go to the files option and then click on new. And then you have the option to create different kind of uh, Java related project like uh, Maven project or other projects. So first of all, I'm going to uh, click on create a Java project here. And then I'm going to name my project as uh, hello, for example. And then it says use default location. So I'm going to use uh, default location, which is inside the Eclipse workspace. Also JRE, it's selected by default, which I have installed, which is uh, Java SE 21. So Eclipse recognizes my uh, JRE and it gives me the option to choose it. Now project layout, use project folder as the root for sources and class file, create separate folder 
for sources and uh, class file. I'm going to leave it as default. Also the module, create module uh, info.java. So for now I don't want to uh, create this file. So I'm going to just uncheck this uh, checkbox because I would just want to create a very simple Java project. And then I'm going to click on finish here, which is going to create this project. So you can see this hello project is created. And inside this hello project, I have this source directory, which doesn't contain any file, right? So in order to create a new Java class, I'm going to right click here and then click on new and then click on class here. And then I'm going to name my class as hello itself, which will be a public class. And then I can also check this checkbox, which says uh, I want to include the public static void main method. So it's going to uh, create this hello class and inside that hello class, our public static void main method will be there. And then I'm going to click on finish, which is going to create this class. Now, once my uh, class is created, I can see this main method to print hello world using this main method. I'm going to just type uh, system dot out dot print ln. And then inside these uh, parentheses, I can just type hello world here. And once I'm done, I can uh, save my project by clicking on this uh, save button and uh, all changes will be saved. So once my uh, Java program is saved, I can click on this uh, run button and then click on this uh, run option, which is going to build my uh, Java program and it's going to run it. And I can see this hello world is printed on my uh, terminal or console. So everything is working fine. I can add a few uh, more uh, characters here, for example, like this and then save my program and run it once again and it's going to print those characters also in the console so everything is working fine here so this is how you can install eclipse ide and create a java program using eclipse ide on your mac operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video